Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So in this video, I am bringing you all a very, very important topic, which can be the career step, which can bring you your dream organization a little bit closer to you, which can make your family a stable one, which can make your potential a little bit more than what you are expecting. All those things, all my experiences I have made a mix together and brought in this video. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. Do not skip the video. And this video like target is 300 guys. So definitely like the video. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And once you like that video, it will help me to help others. Actually, it will make my video to reach many people. Those who are actually looking for similar kind of help. So definitely toko like or share with your friends. Definitely if you're liking the content. So yes, without further ado, Let's get started guys, right? So very much important. I have made every pointer very, very clear and very, very crisp. So stay tuned with me and watch till the end. Now going ahead with the first point, prepare yourself to get the best offer. So many of you, what you do is you just sit in the interview. No, kabhi asa nahi karna hai. take at least two months of time or at least three months of time where you are making yourself a powerful person in that particular domain achievements with your certifications, sit together with your friends, discuss on the things, discuss on the project scenarios, or at least join some course where people are giving you the best mentorship, best talent, best suggestions where you are thinking that yes, this is what I need. So definitely check out these pointers and and one more very important thing in this point number one is when you are preparing for a particular role, take all the email IDs, all the contacts of other HRs where your friends have applied. Suppose you and your friend are applying at the same time. Now he has got the job offer and he is settled now, but still you are studying or you are making yourself a compatible one for these kind of jobs, then this guy would have applied some 50 positions, take all the emails, all the contacts in the Excel sheet, keep it with you. When your turn is coming, just send them email keeping everyone in BCC and make sure you are getting the calls with that particular email. So as many as applications you apply, the chances of getting to your dream organization will be more and more closer to you. <laughs> Now, point number two, never say that you are in a project and this point number two will be applicable if you are working in a service based organization, because in service based organization, we have two things. One is project where you work on a particular project and the other one is bench where people find out the projects to go into, right? So if you are working in a service based organization, tell them that you are, you are currently on bench and looking for the opportunities. And meanwhile, the HR will schedule your interview. And uh, once you clear the interview, once your offer is released, you can talk back to your current bench manager and uh, convince him that you have got this offer and you need to come out from the bench if you are really in bench or else you can talk to your current existing manager and tell him that you have already helped the team so much and you are ready to give the KT to everyone and you are ready to make every document what you know in the team so that he is convinced to release you in that particular point of time. So yes, very much important. So make sure you are doing these kind of things. Making deal for 60 to 90 days notice period. Many of you in one to one sessions or in comments also ask me, Praveen, how can you make sure that 60 to 90 period notice period uh, negotiable, right? So here are some things you can use point number two, where you are telling that you are in bench or you can say that your current project teammates have told or got release from the project within 45 days of the of the say to the manager and you are very much capable or you are very much confident of convincing your current manager and getting released by 45 days. And here also I'm explaining the negative scenario the same way in the previous point, you have to go to your manager approach in a polite way. Uh, so let's say Sudhir is my manager. So I will be telling that, Hey Sudhir, uh, can you please uh, make sure that I'm getting released within 45 days of time because I got the offer from other organization and I'm willing to prepare documents, prepare notes, give the KTs and, and make sure uh, I will send the email by EOD or tomorrow morning so that every team is, is understanding uh, what I'm trying to do in the next couple of days, right? And I'm going to give the KT in my best knowledgeable way, right? And uh, by this, 
at least your manager get convinced if he is still not getting convinced you try to make sure that 45 days or 30 days not the negotiation period you make it like one week plus or minus it is up to you guys and you are the thing which is going to take you ahead you are the person who actually make sure that what is your dream in the next coming months so make sure you have all the pointers in your mind and that is how you target a company now point number 4 hunt for the best offer till you get that is where i tell to everyone hunt 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 till you get your dream organization how to hunt i'll be telling my experience here particularly because you all know how many companies i have tracked what is the checklist i have done i have shared all your all my interview experiences in my interview experience playlist which will be highlighting in the link above so definitely check out that and check out description of every video because i have shared the interesting questions and my interview questions also now hunt for the best offer till you get apply to as many as companies so as you go ahead with your dream organization right or or some some particular journey of hunting the job apply till the job limit gets exhausted may it be knockery may it be some other portal monster or something apply till the job limit gets exhausted now point number 2 make sure you are applying in linkedin till you get the best offer apply 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 give yourself one hour of time every day in the morning suppose you are waking up at 6:30 am wake up take the phone and apply till the limits gets exhausted everywhere right and make sure you are taking wherever in the point number 1 or 2 i have told you get the email ids and everything so make sure you have the easy apply option in the linkedin and uh, you have some contact ids search in the linkedin search in google that how to apply uh, to a linkedin or how to or devops engineer at amazon you will get some ids contact them get the referrals anything can be done in this point of time take as many as interviews so if you see my check list of interview you will see in one day i used to take 6 to 7 interviews almost when i was giving my job hunt when i was at my job hunt so make sure you are having the checklist proper checklist uh, with the hr name what is the company what is the time you are going to sit in the interview maybe tomorrow day after tomorrow and uh, what are the type of uh, questions you can ask your hr that what type of questions you can expect suppose they have some questions handy uh, like amazon hr gives you the complete dump so that it will be helpful to you jab tak hum log kuch nahi puchhenge kisi aur se tab tak kuch nahi milega bhai log hum log ko to always speak up come forward with boldness strike hard and that's how you are going to achieve your dream organization now once you take as many as interview suppose you are failing or passing it doesn't matter because you already spent the three months and if you are passing that is where your will power is coming in true place but if you are failing nevertheless don't worry keep trying hard make the checklist for every company with dates and timings as i have told you if it is a good company bad company no nothing is in the mind until you are getting offers and grabbing good good offers and good good packages so make sure you are hunting for the best till you get your heart a satisfaction right everyone are living in this world to make sure you are getting the best right so in order to get the best you have to give your best so make sure you are in that phase and definitely i want my every community every devops engineer to get good jobs in the coming days and send me the testimonials because i have received many testimonials from you all that with my videos with my content you are getting a good offers good jobs so definitely i want everyone to be with me saath mein aage badhenge guys so don't worry now very very much important three more points left so watch the video till the end everything is negotiable suppose you have concurred the notice period thing right now you are sitting the interview now you are cleared the interview now comes the hr round how to negotiate the hr round how to face that hr round how to tell the hr that hey hr i am the confident person take me in your company and i will give my best how to convince them now very much important point number 5 everything is negotiable guys everything let's take salary let's take the rent whatever they give you if they go if you go to some other place the relocation benefits the education the rsus the the ease ops or as the joining bonus everything is negotiable so how this happens is suppose you have x offer now always try to ask 20 to 30% of current offer if you ask 50% definitely that hr will decline the offer because at the end we all are human beings we all have the mindset that agar hum kisi candidate ko select karte hain they should be also negotiable right hum log abhi hum log kya topic baat kar rahe what topic we are discussing we are discussing hr salary negotiation at the same time we also should think that hr or 
also people they are also trying to negotiate from their end right so 20 to 30 percent is the minimum uh, is what you can think of right and uh, make sure you are not rejecting the offer right you have to accept that offer i have seen many candidates many many of them are rejecting the offer never do that i hope if one person i remember particularly those who was my supporter if he or she is looking at this video so never do the mistake that you are declining the offer take that offer and grab another opportunity which will be very fruitful for you right so everything is negotiable make sure you are giving your best suppose for an example for an example suppose the HR is not accepting your 20% of the hike also, right? Now, politely tell them that, could you please help me with some joining bonus or could you please help me with your some RSUs where I can get new higher grants, right? So these all things can compensate that 10% of the margin which you were thinking at the same time which HR is thinking. And you both shake hand together and you are ready to join some organization, right? The sixth point, very, very much important point, do not accept or reject the offer. Always I say uh, to my community as I have told you in the previous pointers also never accept or reject the offer except in the sense if you have doubt if you have some notion in your mind right discuss with your friends discuss with your families discuss with your mentor discuss with your teacher who is guiding you right definitely they all will help you to get the best out of the best so never accept or at the same time never reject because kya pata agar aap wo offer reject kar rahe ho and you don't get any other offer in the coming days or maine dekha hai people who have talked with me they are actually putting down the papers and they are searching for the job no never do that why you want to do that why you want to keep yourself in the risky position no we have to never be in the risky position we have to be in the achievers position all the time so definitely do all those things last point but not the least very very much important when you don't get the expected how you have to talk with the hr suppose now you ask for 75k right 75000 as a salary now assume that you are asking hr in the phone in the telephonic interview or zoom call or one to one you are asking that uh, i need 75k or 75000 as my salary now hr at that point of time says that okay we are thinking okay we can do something i will talk to my manager and come back to you and before that they have released your offer right now in the offer you are getting 60000 as a salary now there is a 15000 gap which is you are thinking that according to the market standards according to the research you have done it is it is less right now what you can do is either when you are again talking to the hr tell them politely that thank you for the offer whatever you have given and uh, as discussed in the previous call right uh, i was supposed to get 75000 as a salary but in the offer i got only 60000 as a salary could you please let me know or help me with my request of 75000 it's just 15000 difference could you please now hr will tell that uh, there is no project budget there is there are some constraints on this particular role right so in that case as i have told you you can negotiate and bargain with the hr right so you can tell them that i uh, see i have this many certifications i have this many qualifications i have achieved this much in my previous organization and my previous organization was ready to pay me this but still i wanted to look for other opportunities because because i am always eager to learn grab the new things that is how you convince the hr hr is a person like us right if you talk to them in a good way if you talk to them in a convincing way if you if you are having the ability to sell yourself then that is where the point is in your hand so with that hr will definitely agree if he or she is not agreeing then they will make that 15000 into 7575 or some some bargaining will happen or at least they will give you rsu or the joining bonus right so definitely implement all those factors which i have talked in this video i hope whatever i have talked it might have helped you in some or the other point in your coming days so definitely like the video subscribe the channel share the link with your friends and comment down what are the other topics you need in the coming days and uh, we all are together so usile main bolta hu har video mein saath padhenge saath aage badhenge aur saath mehnat karenge with that said this is pravin singhampalli signing off from this video take care stay safe fir milte hain bye